Good morning. Welcome to the second Sunday of Lent here at St. Catherine of Siena Parish in Wilmington Diocese. I'm Father John Hines, Pastor. I'm very glad to be with you. Some years ago, my niece, Lizzie, went to Mexico with a group of the Catholic students from her college, and they spent a week at Mother Teresa, one of Mother Teresa's orphanages in Mexico City. I saw a photo of Lizzie. She was holding a little baby and her face had transfigured. It seemed to radiate light and her smile wasn't so much bigger, but it seemed to come from her soul. It was a moment of intense ecstasy for Lizzie. Lizzie is now married with two, two sons and a full-time business person. She didn't join Mother Teresa's order, but she risked exposing herself to a side of life which many people would find uh, horrifying or unable to bear with. And it seemed that the ecstasy, the joy that was in her face became a part of her later life had something to do with exposing oneself to the world that was so different, so risky for a person like her to go into. There's a light that radiates from Jesus' face today in the gospel, a deep, profound, ecstatic joy. And that comes from knowing the Father's love for him an infinite love. And at the same time with him, Moses and Elijah are talking about his departure, or to use the Jewish word, his exodus that will take place in Jerusalem. And so in the midst of the ecstasy of being loved by the Father, Jesus is also fixing his gaze on what is to come in the future a demand upon him by the Father's will that calls forth his heroic, most heroic response. And Jesus' exodus would be far more than Moses. Moses had to lead a horde of people uh, with almost no material uh, support through the desert. His biggest challenge was to change slaves' mentalities into the mentality of free, responsible adults. And it was a struggle from almost, almost the beginning. In fact, Moses' life was at risk when the people felt that he had take, challenged them too much. But Moses' exodus with the people of Egypt and the fierce struggle that he had to bring the people from slavery to freedom was nothing compared with Jesus' exodus, infinitely greater exodus. The Father, through Jesus, sought to love the human race and to have a personal relationship with each individual human being. And Jesus was to accomplish this by his exodus in Jerusalem. For us, the, the point that I think comes through is God will lead us to ecstatic experiences of his love, for his love for us is infinite. Jesus will lead us to these. And yet, along with these experiences of the intense love of God, often will come a call for heroic decision. Not the decisions we make every day, not the choices we make maybe from week to week, but where God's love is greatest, the heroic response will be called for. This Sunday of the Transfiguration was to prepare the disciples. They were ecstatic to see Jesus' face transformed in prayer. And then, very soon after, when the Father revealed his will for Jesus, they were terrified and fainted from fear. Perhaps they were thinking of the teachings that Jesus had made not long before 
love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. If someone strikes you on the one cheek, turn the other cheek. And they foresaw where Jesus would lead them. And so he did appear to them as his normal everyday self at the end of the vision. But he had done his best to prepare them for what would come on a little hill just outside Jerusalem. And he could not prepare them completely. But he had begun that where the great, greatest joy and the greatest ecstasy is, God often makes the greatest demand. Happy to be with you another Sunday. Uh, God bless you. Keep you secure in the love of Jesus.